Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And like the snazzy background, just try to change things up once in a while because I figured you were getting tired of the white room divider. And uh, talking about dividers and rooms, how do you know when you need to hire a security expert? Well, I think anybody who really wants to have a secure place, they know that they're going to have to at least consult with an expert before they put something into place. I don't have a car and I don't own my own place and I live in a very secure high rise. And so me having to go out and buy a physical one is something that I don't need to do, but I do need a security expert because I'm no expert on security in my own life. I gotta tell you that. And the Lord made that abundantly clear quite a few years ago when he asked me this question. Are you willing to dismantle your heart's outdated security system that is not compatible with my operating system so I can install a better one? I didn't have to think about that question for too long. At first I was going to protest, Lord, I've got a few defense mechanisms, but a whole security system. And then one by one, all the defense mechanisms and self-preservation sort of things that I had accumulated over the years flashed before my eyes. And with the Holy Spirit's help and his love, I realized just how dangerous my self-protection had become in my life and how what I set up in place was blowing up in my face right at that point in my life. I was in a really rough spot when God originally asked me that. I was severely depressed. I was burned out and I was physically safe. But emotionally and spiritually, I was hanging on a wire and that wire was like an open electrical wire that was frayed and it was about to short circuit my life. And so I had no choice. I, I was up against the wall or so I thought, but I was really pressed against his heart. And I said, Lord, I have to admit, my self-protection stuff is not working. The walls that I have built are not doing anything to help my life be any better. They're just making them worse. And so the Lord responded graciously and lovingly, but he wanted to make sure that I understood the contract that he was setting before me. He responded with these questions, and these are questions I'm asking myself quite often, and I encourage you to ask them of yourself because we all have got those security systems in place. Are you ready to allow me access to all of your inner wiring? That means the way that you think, the way that you perceive the world, the way that you see the world through your past experiences. Will you allow the Lord to look at those areas of your life and show you any areas there that have the potential to blow up in your face. Are you willing to stop being defensive? Are you willing to stop making excuses? Are you willing to stop isolating and retreating when God is asking you to go forward and to seek help? Are you willing to stop blaming others and your past for where your life is today? When God is actually pointing the finger at you, not in accusation, but in a, hey, we've got a little bit of a mess clean to clean up. Can I help you with that? Redirecting attention from yourself to someone else. We do it in prayer all the time. We go to the Lord in prayer and we're kind of afraid to open up our heart. So we start giving prayer requests for everybody else under the sun. And all that time, the Son of God is patiently waiting for us to stop with our list of petitions for other people and to start to listen to his heart towards us. Are you willing to admit your mistakes? Are you willing to allow the Lord to help you clean up your mistakes? 
and I can't hide behind a wall of self-protection saying, well, you know, my anger, you know, I've just got this anger problem, but, you know, I'm just a sinner and, you know, people just got to understand that. That is the type of redirecting attention from ourselves that the Lord wants us to stop doing. Okay, so what do we get if we lay all that stuff out before him? Well, this is what we get. In return, Psalm 18, verse 2 to 3. This is only one verse. There are so many more in the Bible. Go to my website, encouragingbibleverses.com, and look up the section on protection and you that's just a few bible verses if we give up our defense mechanisms and our self-protective ways of dealing with life then we will allow the lord to come in and to be there for us but he can only do so if we are willing to stop trying to hardwire our old operating system into his but this is what we get in return psalm 18 verse 2 and 3 the lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer my god my rock in whom i take refuge he is the horn of my salvation and my stronghold i call upon the lord and i am saved from my enemies just just one verse and think of all the way god protects us he is my rock no, the rock that David is talking about in this psalm is not just some silly rock that you can crouch behind. He's talking about a rock that you have to climb up into where you can hide in a cave, for example, and you can see the rest of the world from the vantage of that high place. He is your fortress. A fortress built by God has got pretty good security system in it, don't you think? He is our shield. He is our refuge. It's not like we're going to be up on that rock, unprotected from the elements. No, he is our refuge. He hides us under the shelter of his wings. And he's the horn of our salvation. That means he is like a security system that goes off when we are in need of being saved from the situation we are in, even if we're not even aware of the danger. He will sound the alarm. I mean, really, come on, folks. How much better can it be than that? Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 12. The beloved of the Lord dwells in safety. The high God surrounds him all day long and dwells between his shoulders. Okay, here's your shoulders. What's in between them? There's your heart. He's dwelling in your heart as your security system, but you gotta step out of the way and allow him to dismantle all that is not compatible with his operating system. Mm -hmm.